I, after the structure of the truth, we will be learning about the salivary gland now. Okay, very simple. Saliva is secreted by pairs of salivary gland. We have saliva. No, I'm talking, I'm getting saliva over there. So whenever you eat the food, the food mixes with the saliva, changes to something else, all right? So we have three types of salivary gland. Next to your ear, that is the biggest one over here, next to your cheeks over there, the biggest one, that is known as parotoid glands. Look at it just in front of, beneath each ear, and it's the largest gland. So this secretes 25% of saliva. Okay. Next now, submandibular, next to your jaw, then go down, go down. Submandibular glands. Look at it lying close to inner side of the lower jaw on each side, both sides of the jaw. 60% of saliva is secreted by this submandibular. And next one is sublingual gland and it's below the tongue, 10% of saliva, below the tongue. Okay, below the tongue, 10% of saliva. So we have parotoid gland, submandibular, sublingual gland. Okay, so next is saliva. Now, saliva is slightly acidic, which pH scale 6.8 in nature. This can be asked for short type also. Is saliva acidic or basic in nature? Containing 99% of water, salt and mucus and a very important enzyme that we are going to learn now. Now the enzyme portions are coming now. That is known as salivary amylase, also known as tylene. Okay, now functions of saliva. It cleans the oral cavity, the mouth, lubricates the food, acts as a solvent, that is, it dissolving food particles. It also helps to digest the starch. Okay, starch with this enzyme that is known as tylene, it changes to maltose. All right also aids in water balance in the body all right so the functions you need to know this very important and we have also learned about the three types of glands that are parotoid of salivary gland parotoid gland submandibular gland and sublingual gland all right